What is going on all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me today for an advanced look at the new Teen Titans Omnibus Volume 5 from DC Comics. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. Now this is New Teen Titans Omnibus Volume 5 coming out in the direct market on January 26th and in the book market on January 26th. I guess uh, DC's trying to make it easier or more difficult depending on where you're buying your books uh, but yes this comes out in the direct market and in the book market on January 26 so we're gonna be taking a look at this really quick uh, hoping not to spoil anything because a lot of things do happen in here now the most important thing is how is this book gonna look on your shelf so here's the cover you have the Teen Titans fighting the wildebeest which makes his first appearance here but the most important thing to me at least is this wonderful design to the spines up at the top you have the title of the book volumes two three four five here you have each different teen titan showing up on the spine and then the logo and in the background are like pixelated pictures of comic book pages from the inside of the book this is really cool because you know what i know we have a volume six coming out sometime in the summer but they can keep going because there's so many Teen Titans that end up joining. So don't tell me we're limiting ourselves to just six Omnis. We can keep this sucker going. So let's take a look at the book and talk a little bit about it. Here's a closer look at that spine with Changeling or Beast Boy. And then the back of the book. The book retails for $99.99. Let's take a look at it under the dust jacket. I assume it's going to be like the rest of them. So you have the embossed font of the new Teen Titans Omnibus and here on the spine as well with the DC logo. Nothing on the back. Let's get this open. Okay. So we have black bookend pages. I'm so excited that they decided to do this again. I know I have the custom bound. I have the original printing. I had the trade paperbacks. I had the original single issues. You know, I'm going to make a video on why I double dip, quadruple dip. <sighs> Is there a word for seven times dipping? Uh, yeah, anyway, but I'm glad that they did this because those first three volumes, the first two were solid, great mapping. The third one was a freaking mess, left out so many issues. There was years in between some of those issues. And with these new printings, they are not living, leaving anything out on Kenny Omar Talk Pretty one day, leaving anything out. So this collects new Teen Titans 32 to 49, annuals three and four. Tales of the Teen Titans 91, Secret Origins 13, uh, Secret Origins Annual 3, and if I'm not mistaken, that's the big, like, 80-page Secret Origins Annual, and then the crossover with Infinity Inc. number 45. So all of that is in here. Now, you're going to find artwork in here mainly from Eduardo Barreto. You also have Eric Larson, Kelly Jones. I remember he did a... Oh, gosh, what was it? Danny uh, Rand's story? No, not Danny Rand. Danny Rand is a uh, freaking Iron Fist. Uh, Danny Chase. Danny Chase. He did like a Danny Chase flashback to the origin of the new Teen Titans. So let me actually show you. Here we have pages from Eric Larson. It's a little bit different than what you're probably used to, but this is Eric Larson nonetheless. But most of the stuff in here is done by Eduardo Barreto. That's definitely an Eric Larson looking characters back there. And Eduardo Barreto took over the run after uh, George Perez left. Now, George Perez does a couple, not very many, of the covers in this. And I know he does a couple pages in that one Secret Origins annual number three. So the first few issues are written by Paul Levitz. And then most of this book is written by Marv Wolfman. Uh, Roy Thomas and his wife, Dan Thomas, they end up writing the Infinity Incorporated issue, as well as co-plotting the Infinity Incorporated crossover. So the Teen Titans are back together again. Nightwing had been gone for a little bit, and now he is reunited with his team. So we have Nightwing uh, with Wonder Girl, Cyborg, Changeling, Beast, Link, Beast, Beast Boy, <laughs> uh, depending on what you want to call him, uh, Raven, and Starfire. All of them are reunited again. You also have Jericho on the team. He makes a return, um, and then he leaves because of something happening to his power. And then you are introduced to new characters, like I mentioned um, earlier, Danny Chase, and a couple of other characters are introduced in this particular omnibus. Uh, here we go, annual number three. This introduces us to the new villain, Godiva. And then this is Danny Chase that I was talking about, who has his own secrets and his own little powers. But he ends up joining the Teen Titans. 
And actually, he doesn't show up until a little uh, bit later. We also have the first appearance of the Wilderbeast. As a matter of fact, this is the Wilderbeast's first appearance, this issue right here, where Cory is sent to jail, Starfire, because she accidentally used her powers and overused them and accidentally killed somebody. Now, whether she did or not, it's for you to find out. Oh, man, and when Nightwing comes back, he's back together with Cory. However, there's a love triangle going on because someone else is in love with one of them. And I will let you find out who that is and what's going on. Here's the team up with the Infinity Incorporated. So you get characters like Jade. You get characters like Mr. Bones, the Obsidian. Uh, oh, there's Wildcat. I forgot she was in this. Uh, Wildcat 2, this Yolanda. Uh, Albert uh, Rothstein, who ended up becoming Adam Smasher later on. But those are the characters from Infinity Inc. Mr. Bones, he's the man. And let's keep going here uh, to look at some of this artwork. There's a lot of heartbreaking issues in this. Like, there's so much drama. Ah, oh, the Gentleman Ghost. Like, despite everything going on, the book is literally like a soap opera, which is why a lot of people compare this to Uncanny X-Men. You have one long, ongoing story featuring these characters and their growths. Uh, you have a huge supporting cast of characters that come into their lives, whether they're girlfriends, husbands, uh, kids, yeah, and you'll see. But that's why when people ask me, they're like, do you, do you suggest keep reading... New Teen Titans, even though George Perez left the book, 100%. And I always uh, say this, like, if you stop reading New Teen Titans after George Perez left, that would literally be like me telling you to stop reading Uncanny X-Men after John Byrne left. Yeah, the stories are amazing, but you still have a lot of beautiful, wonderful character moments in these books. And that's all due to Marf Wolfman. And then, of course, uh, the artwork is stellar later on. Tom Grumet. Actually, Tom Grumet does a couple of pages in that one annual, if I'm not mistaken. But let me show you this early Kelly Jones. So we're looking at New Teen Titans number 47. This one's called The Origins. And it's all told through Danny Thomas's perspective. He's the new character that just joined the Teen Titans. He's always looked up to superheroes. But this is what I wanted to show was the early Kelly Jones artwork. Now, I had seen Kelly Jones before in Sandman. So it's interesting to go back and look at him do superhero stuff. And I realized he went on to do Batman. But to me, the most iconic Batman that he ever drew was things like uh, Red Rain or, uh, you know, the, the Vampire Trilogy from Elseworld. But I always thought it was pretty interesting to go back and look at him here because I'm so used to him just drawing over the top or super muscular characters. But just wanted to show some of that. And then in the back is where they put all the Secret Origin stuff. So back here you have Secret Origin starring Nightwing, Johnny Thunder, and the Whip. But seriously, they're only going to collect the Nightwing pages. And this is Secret Origins that leads into the big one right here, Secret Origins featuring the Teen Titans. This is annual number three from 1989. And this showcases artwork from George Perez, Tom Grumet. Um, now, the book has 744 pages, and this just tells you the story of the Teen Titans up until this point. As a matter of fact, I think it goes a little past this point because we see Donna Troy in her Troya outfit um, in these pages. Now, as far as the extras in the back, you have this little backup story from the uh, Secret Origins Annual. And then you have some pinups, some awesome pinups right here. This is the Once Upon a Time pinups uh, from George Perez, just showcasing the different characters through their different lives. And then this looks like from the, uh, the Who's Who, if I'm not mistaken, the history of the Teen Titans, Flame Bird. Just other characters from the pages of these books, the Herald, and then the biographies. There's Eduardo um, Barreto. He, pa he passed away, I think, back in 2010, 2011, if I'm not mistaken. George Perez and all the people that have helped out in this book. Now, let's look at this binding. The book is sewn binding, and there's that eye. And I'm sure you probably noticed as I was flipping through the early pages that the book wanted to close. So that's due to a couple of things. And that's basically the weight of this page. The weight of the actually the thick glossy pages that they're using here. And then the extra amount of glue that they use down here. It is sewn binding but there's some glue on that inner spine. And it's the same thing in the back. When we're looking at pages in the back the book just tries to shut on you a little bit. But I think after a couple read throughs breaking in that spine that inner spine it'll be fine 
I know it doesn't bother some people, but I do like to pin uh, point that out. And let's look at some spreads here. Let me see if I can find some. I'm finding lots of splash pages, but not that many spreads. But here's one, for example. Very minimal gutter loss, honestly, for this one. And back here in the back, you do have to hold it down just a little bit to see all of Raven's face. Uh, because there is that gutter curve right there. And you're losing some of the artwork. Now, you know, we've seen that in both DC and Marvel. It's not just DC. So... You know, it bothers some people, doesn't bother others, but I like to point it out. But that, as they say, is that. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this omnibus, please don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents, the page count, and the build of this particular omnibus. Let me know in those comments down below if you're picking up these omnis. If you missed out on any of these and you hope they reprint them, I would love to know all those comments down below. If you want to continue getting them past Volume 6 that's already been solicited, knock on wood, that is still going to come out. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love.